The Cambyses army of Persia, 50,000 people disappeared without a trace in the desert. King Cambyses II, ruler of Archmedid Empire, the first Persian empire, he was the son of legendary Cyrus the Great. In the 5th century BC, two and a half thousand years ago, sent an army of 50,000 people, the Cambyses army, to attack a certain people. But it disappeared, the disappearance of Cambyses' army of Persia. What happened to this huge at the time? Cambyses' army is still one of the greatest mysteries of the ancient world. 50,000 soldiers simply disappeared without a trace. Some believe that the story of Cambyses' army is fiction, a popular myth. However, archaeologists think otherwise, and many excavations have been carried out in an attempt to find out what really happened to these warriors. Of course, the terrain they were crossing was very inhospitable, but they were following long-established and well-known routes, and it would indeed take something very disastrous for them to disappear. In 524 BC, Cambyses II sent an army on a mission to attack and enslave the inhabitants of the Temple of Amun, located in the Siwa Oasis. They were known as the Ammonians. The, uh, this was, uh, in other words, he went to attack Egypt. The Persian king wanted to strengthen his claims to Egypt in order to lengthen, illegally obtain the throne of the pharaoh. Cambyses began with a polite request, but the powerful priests of the Oracle of Amun were unwilling to grant such legitimacy to the king, which made him extremely angry. To cope with the situation and crush their resistance, Cambyses sent his, sent his people to burn down the great temple of Zeus Amon. The, a large army embarked on a mission and began marching across the Sahara to the Siwa oasis deep in the desert. They wanted to teach the rebellious priests a, re, a lesson so they could be shown their place. It would take only seven days in the desert for the army to reach the oasis, which historians believed was then called El Karga, but they never reached this oasis. Cambyses' army of 50,000 people disappeared during their march to the destination. Of course, it, this would have been a complete disaster for Cambyses, but in fact, we have no evidence that this had any effect on his style of government and power. This is why, in general, some believe that this event never existed. As for the plans of Cambyses II to conquer Egypt, he succeeded in everything without the supposition, supposedly lost 50,000 strong army, in June 525 BC, the Persians laid siege to Memphis and forced the Egyptians to surrender, after which the rest of Egypt was subdued without much effort. And by the end of August, Cambyses II was proclaimed Pharaoh of Egypt and founded a new 27th dynasty. There were some ancient clues that may help to understand what happened to his army. Thus, according to the ancient Greek Herodotus, an ancient historian from Greece, a deadly and strong wind rose from the south when the army was almost halfway through the desert, engulfing them in a great sandstorm. The intensity of the sandstorm was so great that the entire squad of 50,000 warriors was engulfed in it and they did not have time to react or avoid the situation. Even though the squad consisted of tens of thousands of people, they had no chance against Mother Nature. The strength of the natural weather phenomenon was so great that the entire army detachment disappeared under the sand and they were never found again. The traces of these people have been lost and no one else has ever heard of them, neither the Egyptians, nor the Persians, nor the Greeks. Of course, this is only an assumption because Herodotus himself was guessing, offering the most reasonable explanation that he had. But because of such a difficult situation, the army could easily get lost and disappear in the expanses of the Sahara. Excavations by archaeologists have unearthed some artifacts and human remains believed to be of Cambyses' army, having carried out exploration work near the area where the army was thought to have disappeared. This was found in the area of a large rock that could be used as shelter from sandstorms. Several ancient military objects such as arrowheads and bronze daggers were found using a metal detector which suggests they belong to the era of Cambyses. Both the remains of the tips with daggers represent such an insignificant part of the 50,000 
army that they did not prove the theory of an incredible storm, strong sandstorm. In that er era, there were a lot of military conflicts in those places, and of course sandstorms generally occurred in which individual soldiers could die. However, most eminent historians did not think so. And in 1996, they officially announced that the mystery of the disappearance of the 50,000-man army of Cambyses was finally solved. Unfortunately, after this conclusion, no new excavations were carried out in those places. Some researchers believe that it's very uh, in vain in that uh, scientists are too arrogant in their conclusions. Please leave your comments about this. This is by Andrew Vastava on Infinity, Infinity Explorers. Thank you for your support. Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.